So earlier this week, um, I caught wind that a gun shop that I frequently go to um, had just recently got a shipment of um, Gen 4 uh, Flat Dark Earth Glocks in. So I called the local place, well, not really local, but the place that I frequent, and uh, asked them if they had a Gen 4 Glock 17 in Flat Dark Earth. And they did, so I asked them if they would hold it for me until the weekend, which is today, today's Saturday. Um, and they said they would. So this entire week, I have been trying to sell uh, my Aimpoint Micro T1 that I had on my AR um, because I really wanted to get one of these while they had one because they're harder to find. And I was really wanting to get one. And um, so I ended up getting my uh, Aimpoint sold just the other day. Uh, got the money and went to the gun shop today. So here we are. I'm going to show you uh, the new gun that I just purchased. And uh, let's get to it because I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh, like I said, it's the Glock 17 Gen 4 in uh, flat dark earth. I really like the two tone. Um, I was always a fan of just the black. Um, but after seeing some of these uh, online and other people doing some reviews on them, I really started to like the two-tone. And uh, so I just, I really had to have one. I've never owned a Glock 17 before. Um, so this is my first one. I've never, I don't even think I've ever shot a Glock 17 actually. So this one is, uh, this platform here is new to me. Um, I plan on doing either later today or tomorrow doing some shooting with it. Um, I bought... I don't know, maybe four different types of 9mm ammo, uh, some 115 grain uh, and some 124 or 25 grain, something like that. So we're going to shoot some different ammo through it to uh, uh, see how it performs with the 115 grain stuff that some people were having issues with. We're going to see how this one runs and um, hopefully I'll be able to do that later today and get that video up. But there is definitely going to be a shooting video with this very soon. Uh, we'll go ahead and safety check it. I know it is a brand new gun, but we'll go ahead and do that. It is in fact empty. Um, I'm not going to go into the whole uh, uh, Gen 4 thing because it's been out for quite some time now. And I'm sure 99% of you guys know all about it. But you get three 17 round mags, your back straps, um, your gun lock, the spent casings, and uh, your manual and all that good stuff. But I did notice that on the test fire date, it was uh, 920 of uh, this year. So this is a uh, just a little over a month old from the from the test fire date. So that is good. Um, I did notice that this flat dark earth, it is darker than I thought it was going to be. Um, it is definitely darker than, like, say, the Magpul. Uh, here's a P Mag to give you an example of uh, the color. As you can see, it is darker. Somewhat similar, but it is definitely darker. But it's still very nice. I love the two tone. Um, I like how, you know, these parts are black. It just, I really like the way this gun looks. Um, being a full size, uh, this is actually my first full size Glock as well. Um, the Gen 4 being the slimmer, it does fit really nice in my hand. I've got smaller hands and so that is really comfortable. Um, you know, I think it's going to be um, a really great gun. And I did break it down while I was there to check the uh, ejector to make sure that it was in fact uh, the new one. Uh, I think the 3274, I do think the number that's on it instead of the 366. And it does have the newer spring in it. So this has all the new stuff that was supposed to fix the problems uh, that these 9mm Gen 4s were having. So that was a good thing. Um, this is just a quick video to show you what I've got. Uh, I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can so I can get out there and do a shooting video uh, to see how it's going to perform and see how it does with different ammos. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys the new gun, the Flat Dark Earth uh, Gen 4 Glock 17. And um, I also received in the mail today, I bought a Vickers Tactical by Tango Down uh, extended mag release for my Gen 3 Glock 19. 
and we'll be doing an installation video on that coming up as well. So we got a few videos coming up. We got this one. We're going to have a shooting video hopefully very soon with this one. Hopefully today and maybe have it up by tomorrow. And uh, within the next day or so, we'll be doing this video as well. So here's, uh, here's the new gun. We're going to get out and do some shooting with it. Uh, hopefully we'll have some other videos up, a shooting video and that other installation video. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. Of course, hit the like button, send some comments my way, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.